Right now, we live in a society where there are so many distractions. From our phones, to our phones. Okay, mo it's mostly our phones, let's be real here. But so, something I get asked a lot is, Anna, how are you so productive? Um, I just recently became super productive. Like, before that, I was just like, eh, let's lay in bed and eat fruit loops but now i actually get things done so this is my declassified guide to how to be productive now obviously quick disclaimer that this is just the stuff that works for me there is no like guaranteed process it's not like any of that stuff this is just my personal opinion if it doesn't work for you i'm sorry if it does that's great so enjoy the video yeah number one make a to-do list. I know like it sounds like so cringy and weird, but here's the thing. Actually like being able to think through your day in advance is already probably going to help you like get what you want accomplished because you'll already identify, hey, I want to accomplish this. But it's also really nice to check things off of a list. Like I use my bullet journal and I have a little, um, document in my notability on my school iPad where I like to put everything so I can just check things off. My iPad is more like my daily stuff because I don't want to write a to-do schedule every single day in my bullet journal so that's why I prefer to use an iPad for that because then I can just erase it and move on. Once you identify what you need to get done and what you want to get done, it'll be a whole lot easier to get it done because you'll actually know everything that you want to get done, if that makes any sense. Number two, enclosed cognition. Okay, so there is this thing called enclosed cognition. I can't say enclosed cognition. We're basically what it is is if you dress like nice or like semi okay you will probably be better at doing things so like if you if you wear your pajamas or sweatpants like all day your brain is just gonna be like hey let's go lay down and be lazy and sleep but if you are wearing like jeans or i mean you could wear a dress i know i do that like all the time when i'm at school um your brain will be like hey let's be productive so like what you wear and it actually like really affects if you're gonna be productive or not let's talk about cleaning i know this is gonna be like really hard for a lot of people to hear but Clean your frickin' room, clean your house, clean your car, clean the bathroom, clean the ceiling, clean up your life. I know this is like partially like being productive, like this could be on your list of things to do, but I can tell you, one million percent, if you clean up your house, your space, your zone, your man cave, your dungeon, you are so much more inspired to just like get things done because you feel less overwhelmed by everything. It is so great. Like I just finished donating so much stuff of mine that I don't even use and I don't need. And my room is like so empty and beautiful and I actually know where everything is. That's how you're probably like, okay, Anna, gotten dressed, took care of my hygiene, made a to-do list. Now, how do I actually start being productive? As you guys saw when I did the like, to-do list section of this video, you could see that on the to-do list that's on my iPad, which I screen recorded, there is a top priorities and a to-do spot. So, what I personally do to make sure that I am like productive is I look at my top priorities list and I tell myself hey I have to get these three things done for sure 
like I have to see like the to do side like yeah I want to get that stuff done but it won't be the end of the world if I don't so sometimes what I do is I just like go straight into the stuff that I know that I need that I might sometimes I just go like straight into my top priorities and do those but lately what's been working better for me is I do some of the to-do things so then I feel like oh I know I did like these but the goal was to just get the priority so I better like do those so like it's this weird like mind game rewards now being productive when you're a teenager is like uh okay but like when you're an adult you kind of have to be or else you're not going to be functioning that well so what i like to do is i like to set up rewards for myself like today when i get everything completed after i shower i'm going to watch a movie to like be zen and cool sometimes it's like oh a lot of you know majority of my um rewards are at night because that's when everything's done or early in the morning like hey i get to like eat a i'll have donuts for breakfast or all a lot of it's food related because let's be real food is food and food is great so like tonight is I'm gonna watch a movie sometimes it's have a bowl of ice cream um donuts or hanging out with people going shopping that kind of stuff so the rewards help motivate me so i put the reward as a to-do because then because my goal every day is to complete everything on my to do and top priority list that is my overall 1 million percent goal like i know that's pretty much impossible i haven't been able to do that because a couple things like i can't really control they're like completely out of my control but once i get everything except for my reward done then my brain's all like oh, it's the last thing yay and then i get to erase everything and start over the next day which is such a great feeling to erase it all and to know that everything is good with the world next let's talk about our mental health because you and i are the same person and i should have phrased that differently so mental health is extremely important when it comes to being productive i have been like very unstable for like a really really long time but now i am like gaining stable i'm gaining hardwood floor to stand on instead of sand i don't know what i don't know i don't know why so, i'm saying that i have taken a lot of time to take care of myself i have coping skills that i use when i'm upset i have been doing a lot better working through my depression so I can actually be productive. I know that's so much easier said than done. Believe me, it's taken me years to get up out of bed to do things and be productive and like be like, and, like be like screw you depression. But I still struggle with it. And so mental health is extremely important when you're being productive because first of all, if you have like depression, like I have, and, like you physically can't force yourself to get up out of bed which is a really crappy feeling or sometimes you will do you will start obsessing over your list of things that you want to do that day to the point where it's unhealthy and you're just taking care of like your overall needs minus your mental health mental health should come first so here's a few things that i do to help my mental health I love to read. I like to read a lot of things. Specifically, I like to read quotes and positive poems and basically anything. I try to make it positive though to put me in like a good mindset. Next, I also love to exercise. I love going through all of the old Just Dance um, Wii games. So I'll just be in my living room like, 
don't stop make it pop dj blow my speakers up and it's like so much fun i also do some yoga which is very great corpse pose is the best pose and you can't change my mind I also love, love, love to color or draw or be artsy. I like to make music, obviously. I'll sing, I'll play my ukulele, I'll write some songs. Speaking of writing, write in a journal, write in a diary, write a story, write on your blog. Like that kind of stuff is really helpful. Go for a walk. Being in nature really, really helps your mental health. Like preferably without any electronics. Listen to the rustling of the trees and the little glittery sound of the water. It's such a wonderful experience, but I too, I do sometimes bring my iPod and listen to Phantom of the Opera. You can't stop me. So those are a couple things that you can do. You can obviously also meditate. There are so many great guided meditations on YouTube, literally everywhere and i love 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 meditating i used to think like Ugh, ew but now i'm just like oh, yes 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 so that is the tea on mental health so those are my super professional opinions and thoughts on how to be productive. I hope that you gained information from this. If you have any questions about what I do or anything at all, my DMs on my Instagram are open. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was somewhat entertaining and educational at the same time for you. Um, so I really hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and remember that kindness inspires kindness. And I'd just like to remind you that you are loved and you are wanted. You are valid. I love you guys so much and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, bye.